so James, we're going to move into uh, a large segment here. Uh, and that's where recently released by Disney, keeping in line with Disney, uh, they announced that in essence, they're getting into the home building business. And uh, I'm excited about this. So this is Story Living by Disney. Uh, new home communities where your next chapter flourishes. Imagine your life set in a place where world-famous Disney service is at the heart of it all. Uh, so for those of you watching live, uh, I, you'll, you'll notice in the background, I've got the website up. Um, and I just kind of want to walk through this website, look at it together and kind of talk about what we're seeing. Cause this is, this is huge. You know, you've got a lot of big home builders, community builders out there, Toll Brother, Lennar, DR Horton, um, Disney getting into this game, uh, is huge. And, and for those of you that don't know, Disney has built some home communities in the past. Uh, it's just when they did it in the past, it was all in Florida on Disney owned land where they yeah. already could do it. <clears throat> uh, maybe so, that was, maybe that was just a test run then. Yeah, I, th I think it was. So yeah. the, the next section, it's time to write the best chapter in the story of your life. Bring everything you've come to love and set the stage for even more. Be a part of a vibrant, inspiring community catering to the unique desires of those who have learned what's really important. Welcome to a place where you can live your life to the fullest and truly take pride in every new chapter to come. Not a whole lot. Doesn't doesn't really tell me much about the community. Just uh, nice words that sound pretty, but uh... <laughs> yeah. And what's interesting is in this image we see a cactus. We we see uh, is that cotton top? And uh, kind of does look like her grandfather a little bit. <laughs> um, is that is that your grandfather and you back in you know thirty mm. years ago? Man, no, I we never bake. There was definitely no cake baking. Oh, okay. <laughs> And then we see some, uh, what appears to be an old white lesbian couple shopping. Um, so <laughs> I can't, well, they, I think, are they, I think are they older? I, this, I mean, a lot of, a lot of what this sounds like, a lot of what this sounds like, it almost sounds like senior communities right now. Well, yeah, that's kind of what I'm gathering as well. So let's, let's press on dream locales. Give the story of your life, a brilliant new setting. A story living by Disney community is something special. We've begun with a setting in California's greater Palm Springs and are exploring other location opportunities in the United States in the places people dream of living in. Communities in these carefully selected locales will take inspiration from the authentic culture and heritage of each region crafted with an eye on comfort and design. Welcome to a world where charming gathering spots foster new friendship, where enticing little surprises are happened upon at any given moment, when nature connects with curiosity. This is your chance to live in a place that forever inspires you to add wonderful new passages to your story. Okay. Uh, Palm Springs is hot as hell. Uh... <laughs> well, so... One of the reasons that they're doing Palm Springs, just in case you didn't know, is Walt Disney actually lived in Palm Springs during prior to and during the construction of Disneyland. Oh, I did not know that. Okay. So okay. so he, that makes, then that makes sense. That was his hood. So okay. <laughs> um and and here we see again uh, a cactus. We see uh, an Asian couple drinking wine, and uh, we see they look older. <laughs> we see what appears to be maybe a grandmother and granddaughter. Um, and, and Scott calls out so appropriately that Disney could pay him to live in Palm Springs. Yeah. Uh, I have no interest in going back to California, but I certainly am not going to go live in a desert. I live in a desert and, uh, it's, it's not all it's cracked up to be. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I mean, Palm Springs, I've been there. Um, I, and of course I, I had been, I've been there during the summertime. Ugh. Um, but I mean, I, I hear, uh, I hear the rest of the seasons are very, are very nice. So, uh, spring, uh, spring is, is really huge down there. Um, uh, and, 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 uh, fall is apparently really beautiful. I'm not sure how winter is, but, but again, like that's one of those places that 
you're a lot of people leave during the summertime. So, <laughs> yeah. And Brian calls out that this reminds him of the ship from Wally. I, I get it. I get what he means there. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so the next section, the Disney touch. Life inspired by world famous Disney placemaking. The Disney touch is at the heart of it all. The communities are envisioned as enriching enclaves conceived with the simple notion of bringing people together, managed by Disney cast members who deliver world-class service and, of course, fun. No one else could bring to life such a vibrant mix of experiences and activities that will inspire new passions. Welcome to a place featuring world-renowned service that puts you at the center of everything. Programming will require payment of dues and or fees and be subject to additional terms and conditions. <laughs> so so here we see what appears to be maybe a restaurant with some shrimp in the foreground. Uh, we, we see a table with... Uh, Get the dog off the table, dear Lord. Yeah, we see a dog at a table with a, a, a community of people that uh, this might be the most ethnically diverse table I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Um, and, and then of course we, we see a hidden Mickey with a fruit bowl. What? <laughs> wow. wow. So, uh, communities currently exploring locations in the U S our first story living by Disney community has been selected and planned with an eye on the rich culture that inspired Walt Disney himself. Rancho Mirage, California. Neighborhoods, including one designed especially for adults, 55 plus, ah. are, are surrounded by the spectacular creative oasis of the greater Palm Springs area. <clears throat> and Scott wants us to not hate on the dog. I'm not hating on dogs. I'm, I, I love dogs. I'm just saying the dogs do not need to be everywhere. They don't need to be at the table. They don't need to be in the stores. Just I, That's a whole different concept. Okay, they continue, Mark. Sorry. <laughs> and Tyra said, if Mickey Mouse ain't delivering my mail, I'm not interested. That, H <laughs> that HOA will be murder. Yeah, I mean, like when they said cast members, when they said cast members, are they, are, are they going to be living there? Are they going to have to, is that coming, are they coming to work? Like, are they just, are they driving into work? That would be, cool. So uh, the, the community that we've got is called Cotino. Okay. And, uh. Welcome to a dynamic creative oasis set within the stunning landscape of Palm Springs, the ultimate destination for curious dreamers and doers seeking exploration, innovation, and inspiration. Uh, again, any of the artwork, it's all artist, you know, concepts. Rendering, so, yeah. but theoretically, this might be the entrance into the Cotino community. A living painting for centuries, humanity has been drawn to the sands, mountains, springs, and valleys of the Palm Desert. Really? <laughs> have they? Its unique climate, diverse flora and fauna, and boundless beauty have inspired generations of makers from original inhabitant Kahula basket weavers and storytellers to contemporary artists and innovators. All for good reason. The many colors of this natural wonderland surprise first-time visitors with vivid greens, liquid blues, and dynamic reds and yellows, bringing unexpected life to the ruddy cocoa tones that frame <laughs> the landscape in grandeur. Could they be any more highfalutin? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, I'm going like, to use these big words. Like, seriously, like, uh, don't get me wrong. I'm absolutely interested conceptually in living in a Disney community. But right hey. now, I feel like I need to have a silver spoon up my butt if, I, if I'm ever going to do it. Well, and and the thing too is like I mean well like like we said this seem this seems like a, an older community. Well, so they so uh, I'm I'm gonna At stop least reading to, from to start. the page for a minute. So this is a master planned community. So for example, I live in, in a Toll Brothers master planned community, but it's actually four or five separate communities, if you will. So where I live, there were four four or five floor plans. But then if you go across the street, there was another three or four floor plans. And then if you go over to another area, there's actually a gated community that's still a part of this larger Toll Brothers community, but it's gated and it's 55 and up. 
And and so uh, what we're seeing right now is this image of a lagoon with homes all around it and everything. And so this area is huge. I, I can't, I, I don't remember the total square footage that they said, but uh, the image that we're seeing right now shows the 24 acre grand oasis that will feature the clearest turquoise waters with crystal lagoons technology. So just this image of the lagoon is 24 acres. So imagine how large the area is around this central water feature, if you will. Yeah. Um, so, so they've got square miles galore to build this place. And it's going to be a master planned community where it will be broken up into sections. There will be some homes that are on the lower range uh, price wise and smaller square footage. There will be homes that are huge. There will be homes that are two story, one story, uh, a senior community. So um, yeah, this place is going to be really big. Um, Tyrus <laughs> says base model starts at the very low and affordable price of 2 million plus the price of solar. <laughs> he might not be far off, honestly. No, um, no. So uh, in the next section, we see a, a picture of Walt. Uh, but what we do see is this uh, artist rendering of a community center um, is what we're seeing here. And in a moment, we'll see another image that shows it from the outside. Um, but just a place where people could go and, I guess, hang out and meet. Um, here, what we're seeing is an image of a downtown kind of centralized shopping area. Um, that looks that looks clean. Yeah, it it'll have restaurants and and boutiques and, and things of that nature. Um, so uh, the, here's the description on the creative retreat. The Greater Palm Springs area has helped the famous unplug for decades, from U.S. presidents to the most glamorous Hollywood stars. But key to our story of inspiration is the man himself, Walt Disney. Of all the destinations in the world, Walt chose Palm Springs as his favorite special retreat, as he referred to it as his laughing place. Though not many are aware of this special uh, of this source of his inspiration. The, those among us who fondly remember gathering by the TV to watch Walt conjure colorful dreams on Sunday nights certainly know the results. Thanks to a new generation of dreamers, the same land of inspiration can be yours, inspired by this legacy, uh, are some of the latest visitors to this wellspring, the Walt Disney Imagineers, whose magic infuses this one-of-a-kind place as well as the expert staff of DMB Development, a Scottsdale-based developer specializing in unique communities in the Western U.S. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> Brian says, you can hear air conditioners laughing every summer afternoon. <laughs> Uh, moving on in the page, we see uh, this this area that is just off of that central downtown district where there will be shopping and restaurants uh, to down to the lagoon where uh, there will be the feeling of uh, beachfront kind of resort where you can hang out and uh, evidently get some longboards or go out and kayak. Um, again, as was referenced before, there are additional costs for access to the beach, I guess. Uh, I, I, my understanding is that people that don't live in the community can come to the community for a day pass, um, again, for an additional fee. So, uh, back to that community center. So this image is showing us what that community center looks like from the outside, is that right the there in the waterfront. Is that the visitor center from Jurassic Park? Uh, a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller. Uh, Tyrus is saying, uh, if they designed the communities after areas in the parks, I would heavily consider Galaxy's Edge, but only if the police wore stormtrooper uniforms. Stupid. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't think there's much else on this yet. Uh, there is a place where you can go to sign up if you're interested in more information. Uh, I have signed up because uh, while I may not be interested in Palm Springs, if they should look at other areas of the country, I, I could potentially absolutely be interested. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, I guess we'll see. Yeah. I think. Uh, I think it's 
conceptually, it's very interesting. Um, I agree with Tyra. I think these are going to be crazy expensive, especially in California. Yeah. Um, you know, I think if they were doing this same kind of build in Arizona, Texas, even in the Las Vegas market, uh, you know, the same home would be, you know, 50 or 60% the cost. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, absolutely. Um, 